Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, I had a little bit of an issue trying to see in the dark in the pitch black. What seems to be the case is that the high beams are actually pointed too far down. You need to be really careful when you start adjusting your headlights because they need to meet certain specifications. I don't have a proper like angle meter here to be able to measure them perfectly. I don't even have like a guideline to go off, just sort of what they're set like now and how I know they are out on the road. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the high beams a little. Because what I actually found out when I was out riding in this car, taking it for a good spin at night, I was actually finding it really difficult to see just because the high beams went on. They just weren't high enough. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to show you how to adjust them. It's actually real simple. So let's get to it. So if you have a look at the headlights here, you got your high beam obviously there and you've got your low beam there, right? So we want to adjust the high beam and we just want to bring it up a bit because at the moment my high beams just aren't really performing how I'd like them to perform. The actual adjustment is actually one of these little hex head bolts right here. I believe the top one is for adjusting the height of the beam and the lower one is actually uh, will adjust the beam left or right. Yeah, so we're just going to mess with just the top only and hopefully that uh, goes in the right direction that we need it to. Okay, so We've got a little 8mm here, 8mm spanner, and we're going to use that to adjust the headlights. Just going to use the garage and um, shoot the beams and just see where they're at. And we'll use the garage as a good way to see where we're at. Okay guys, so that's what we're looking like at the moment. Now we're just going to go take this 8mm uh, and we're going to adjust the headlights, the high beam only. That's just the parkers. That's the main beam. Now they're high, they're as high as they'll go. And then we've got the high beam there. So I want to actually adjust the high beam. Just looking at the right hand side, it looks like the left hand side's higher than the right hand side. The right hand side high beam doesn't even look like it's above the actual uh, low beam there. So I'm actually going to adjust the right hand side first. So we're going to adjust the right hand side first. It looks like it's, uh, it's not even above the... Um, doesn't really look like it's above even the low beam. We're just gonna go for this adjustment here, just here, the top one for height. And I'm just gonna turn it one way or the other. That is actually now bringing the high beam up. Okay. Just looking at that, that's already better than what it was like. So I wasn't going to adjust the low beam, but thinking about it now, I actually have HIDs. Uh, this is a JDM Spec S15. So with this, I actually have an adjustment here for the actual height of the low beam, the, the main beam. So that's already actually at its highest. So what we actually can do, we can adjust it. Uh, just a low beam, make it higher, and then we can actually control it out on the road as long as it's not too ridiculously high. So I'm just going to turn off the high beams now, and that's where we're at with the low beams, and I just want to adjust them a little bit higher. So at the moment, the car is off to one side. It's like it's not perfectly level. So this one is a little bit higher, so I'm just going to consider that as normal it's pretty flat so a quick demonstration of just the hid level adjustment in the car now i've got my hand on the switch you probably heard the motor go um, that's actually now lowering it it's going up and that's maximum height So we might start from the lower setting and I'll just adjust those main beams just a little bit more so that they're just a little bit higher. This is the low beam side and I'm just going to adjust this for the height of the low beams. Yeah, I can, you can see that coming up, which is great. That's what we want. As I said, we can always drop the level with the height, the level uh, selector switch. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the left hand side. Now yeah, we're going to have a look. I want the left to go up. So that's now going up, which is exactly what we want it to do. 
Now, because I said that the car isn't on a level surface, ideally you want to do this on a level surface, I'm just going to make it just a little bit of a difference on the left hand side. So the left hand side should be just a little bit lower because it's relative to the angle the car is on at the moment. All right. Just judging by the angle that the car is on, I think that's pretty well spot on for just a guesstimate. Okay, so main beams are looking really good. See that? That's perfect. Well, perfect as we're going to get it for just, just a guesstimate. Now, you can see where the high beams are. If I actually just flick them, um, probably not showing up in the camera, but I can see actually the right hand side is actually a bit lower. So we still need to bring the right hand side up a lot more. It's probably why I was unable to see too far ahead of me when I went out on that night drive. I'm just adjusting the, the high beam up now. Right now it's a bit hard to tell so what we're going to do we're going to go out on a little drive and we're going to see what it's like out on the road. Okay guys so that's just with the parkers on. Uh, this is what it's like with the main beams on now. So that's really good. Um, it's higher than what we had before. Um, if we can just find the switch here, that will just raise it even further. So ideally I'll probably rock it around on the lowest height setting, but then when I get out to the hills and the mountains and I'm out on those drives late, late, you know, at night where I need more vision, then that's the key. Being able to adjust it on the fly is awesome. You can adjust your own headlights, but I would just be very careful because you don't want to be flashing people in their eyes. They are not going to like you and they'll end up flashing you. You've probably been in that uh, circumstance before, no doubt. So yeah, guys, we're just going to go for a little drive and see how the main beams and the high beams look out on the road. Uh, the high beams are the ones I really need to adjust. It's sort of hard to adjust when the main beams are on. Um, so yeah, we'll just go out and see what they look like. All right, let's go. I've got the high beams on and you can tell over here that my high beam on the right hand side is just way down. We're going to adjust that. Um, high beam on the left hand side however looks pretty good. If I turn the main beams on I can actually see that the right hand side there is just a little bit too far pointing down. So we're going to adjust that. So basically all I could do was adjust the high beams so that they were even. I ran out of adjustment on the right hand side. I think the actual internal adjuster is broken. So I've adjusted those high beams now so they're pretty much even. So this is what it looks like with the main beams now. Um, that is actually at the max height. Um, so really it probably is a bit too low still. It could probably go higher than that. Um, you can see that my high beams my high beams are pretty much useless. so that's a wrap i successfully adjusted the main beams i couldn't adjust the right hand side high beam unfortunately so with these hids with the adjustable level i just had to basically set the main beams to the highest possible setting with the level turned high a bit sucky that i couldn't adjust the actual right hand side high beam though seems like the adjuster internally is just stuffed 
but we were able to adjust the main beams so that they were a little bit higher so when I actually flick the adjustable three stage level I can just get the headlights to be a bit more higher so that we can see a lot better. Okay thanks for watching guys I'll see you in the next one.